I was considering um, getting into teaching and doing a lateral entry into teaching already. I was considering some different options when the uh, NC STEP program was announced back in January. Um, my wife also teaches in a new school's um, early college program and has had several years of experience with the, with the new schools group. And um, she found North Carolina New Schools organization to be very professional and, uh, and a very good uh, training ground. Um, so uh, honestly, having North Carolina New Schools um, provide the, the framework to, to go through the lateral entry process, having them interface with the Department of Instruction, um, have the program arranged is much more straightforward and uh, uh, a much more sure way of getting teacher certification and the, the professional development that, that they were going to provide, I feel, um, makes allows me to, at the end of the program, almost be a second year teacher rather than a first year beginning teacher. I've worked in manufacturing um, for 25 years. Um, I've worked in various uh, roles of, of manufacturing and industrial engineering and and I have um, um, worked in various roles of manufacturing management. The um, experiences that I that I have from that um, really relate to education well from a training standpoint um, from a uh, the, the idea of what is needed in manufacturing environments today, what kinds of employees manufacturing is looking for, and really what the specialties are and the skills are that will make students better able to come out into the, into the work world and, and compete the way that, that we need them to, to help provide that, that level of, um, of uh, experience in, in the employees that we're going to have. Some of the um, support and, and collaborative elements that, that all of the interns are receiving through the uh, STEP program, um, but we all begin by um, doing a, a one semester term of observation in a classroom. Um, all of the classrooms include a, or, or, are oriented with a, um, a master teacher or a mentor teacher. Um, so we have a six month period of observation in the classrooms and then after that we'll have a six month period um, as teacher of record actually instructing a class. So um, we'll gain some, some very good instruction from experienced teachers and then be able to apply that instruction after that in, in a classroom. We have uh, been taking some online classes and we've, and we've gone to some professional development activities that um, try to highlight certain, um, certain learning objectives and certain teaching strategies that uh, when I came into the classroom and saw a whole staff of, of teaching professionals who were actually embracing these strategies and seeing them actually run the school and uh, and design their their curriculum and and uh, obviously trying to incorporate so many of these things into the the, the, the teaching that they provided the students um, was just very revealing and, and very telling and and I think back to the experiences that I had when I was in high school and the type of instruction that that I remember from that um, this is this is so different and it's uh, so much more involved and so much better illustrated um, it just really it just really impresses me that uh, you know the, the the types of techniques that are that are being used and how well that's going to support the learners of today um, I found the importance of relationships with students, making them feel like they're personally involved in their education and, um, 
in their in their learning process to be really very key and integral to the students feeling that they're part of a learning community. Um, the teachers are part of that learning community and the administration at the school is part of that learning community and it, it helps to reinforce with the students what being a lifetime learner is really about and helps them to see that they're not the only ones in that environment that are learning. The teachers and the administrators are learning every day also and, and it helps to model for them that you know, learning is something that everybody does throughout their life and, uh, um, and that, that those opportunities abound and in, 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 will abound in everything that they do. And uh, so making that, helping them to make that connection, I think, is, is a, a huge value to, uh, to the students in the, in, the, uh, in the schools. The thing that I'm most passionate about in becoming a teacher in North Carolina is the, uh, the opportunity to implement instruction, science instruction, with engineering connections and, and underpinnings to it. Um, I know when I was going to school, when I was going to engineering school, um, I took a lot of the, the prerequisites, the, um, the calculus and the physics and all of the, the classical uh, sciences, and I learned it, but it didn't really have a lot of relevance to me until I started taking engineering classes. And I think the reason for that is because the engineering is such a hands-on application of the science and the math, it just makes it so much more relevant and, uh, and I'm really excited about the opportunity to be able to introduce that at, at the high school level and be able to provide that, that opportunity for high school students to make those connections and understand what the application is for some of this otherwise fairly abstract learning that, that's in those subjects.